Garcia says Javante Davis is emotional and crying on the internet. Spence Crawford, April Fools. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Cardinal Red. Cardinal Red Sports. Let's talk about it. All right, y'all. So, apparently, Ryan Garcia feels like Javante Davis is emotional and crying over the internet. And he feels that he reacts way too quickly to every little thing that, that's said to him. And that's going to play a role in their upcoming fight. And I was reading through some articles yesterday. And there's some really big news out there if it's true. But I'm not sure if it's true or not. But the more I read, the more it seems like it's just a joke. So that's the Crawford Spence and we're going to talk about that. But let's start out with what Ryan Garcia had to say. So Ryan Garcia called Javante Davis emotional. Said he cries on the, <laughs> on the internet. And uh, I just want to break that down for everybody. So emotional. Is, 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 I'm sorry, is Javante Davis emotional? <laughs> I would say, yeah, he's a little emotional. But at the moment... And with everything that's going on in his life, I would have to say he's emotional for a reason. I don't know what's going on in his personal life between him and his uh, lady or whatever. Could be some problems there. I don't know. You know, I don't try to dig too deep in people's that I don't know personal lives. But there's obviously something else going on, and it's it's got him a little emotional. Plus, we don't know what's going to happen to Javante Davis after the Ryan Garcia fight. He might be going to jail. You're going to jail. Ain't hey, cool about jail, nigga. Ain't nothing cool about I've been about here 10 years. <laughs> so, if he's going to jail, I would be pretty emotional, too. I mean, you, let's say he's not having no problems with his, his female, but, I mean, who's not going to miss... They, they, they lady, they kids, you know, all that extra stuff when you're sitting in jail. And you might have just won the biggest fight, got the biggest payday of your career. You can't even enjoy it. So, yeah, I would be emotional. I'd be emotional now, today, tomorrow, <laughs> every day till the day is over with. So, I mean, I would have to say that Ryan Garcia is correct that, you know, Javante is a little emotional. But I would say he's emotional for a reason. Get a man a break. He's going through a lot. You know, it's a lot going on in his life. And there might be a lot more to come for Javante Davis. So, I would have to say he's emotional. Whatever he's talking about, uh, I don't know what what encounter they had on the internet to where he said Javante started crying. Hey, yo, come, where you going, man? What you, where you at, man? Come from, man. Where you mean where that come from, man? We just get to the gym, bro. But apparently there's been some back and forth between him and Javante Davis over Twitter and some other things said. And I guess apparently Javante got so enamored or immersed in the conversation, he got a little emotional. Oh, we can do it the hard way. You know, I mean, that happens. He's, you know, as, as a grown man, it happens. You might have an argument and you might feel so passionate about the argument that it makes you shed a tear because it's, it's hurting your, you emotionally so bad to not do anything and just the fact of the conversation might bring you to tears, you know what I'm saying? Because it might be a conversation that really doesn't need to be had or a conversation that's stirring up emotions in you that you don't know how to deal with yet. And that's just some grown shit. Grown men, you know, it happens to the best of us. So I won't, I won't say that that's a flaw of Javante Davis I actually think you gotta fear people who are extra emotional more than you do someone who doesn't carry any emotions the guy who doesn't carry any emotions is gonna catch you when you least expect it the, the person that is extremely emotional is gonna try to do something to you right now <laughs> I'll repeat that one more time for the people who don't get it this is for street people. Street people know exactly what I'm talking about. The guy who is extremely emotional is going to try to get you right now. And the guy who shows no emotion is going to get you when you least expect it. Believe me. So, 
I think the the emotional guy is a lot more dangerous than the quiet person. Uh, the quiet person's gonna get you, but he's gonna give you time to try to get your life together first. <laughs> then he's gonna get you when you least expect it. But that emotional person is very dangerous because they're gonna try their best to make something happen to you immediately, and that might not be the best thing for you <laughs> at that moment. You know, so. I would never say that Javante is weak because he's emotional. I, th I do feel like being emotional is a dangerous trait because you have, you tend to do stuff based off emotion. <laughs> and when you do stuff based off emotion and not, you know, thinking about it or logic or, you know, um, just giving a second thought to it, you end up in situations that you really can't get yourself out of. And these are situations that Javante Davis is going through at the moment with the jail stuff, with everything else that's going on in his life. So I would agree with Ryan in one way that being emotional can extremely affect you and it can make you do things that might affect your life very badly. But for Ryan Garcia's sake, I think he should be fearing the emotional guy because that emotional guy going to channel that emotion and try to do something to you right now and if you know what i mean that means he's going to try to knock you the f out <laughs> get that raid so uh it's not it's not really even looking that good for ryan garcia when it comes to this fight so i mean you can call him a cry baby emotional all of that extra stuff you know you laugh at it but at the end of the day that is a dangerous trait now when it comes to this Earl Spence Terrence Crawford situation. So apparently there are some rumors out there that the fight is supposed to take place July the 17th, something like that. Uh, June or July the 17th, something like that. I'm not really sure where this news came from. I heard a few weeks back that those guys were personally trying to work the fight out. That they had already agreed to a purse split and everything. But... Uh, I thought Earl Spence had a fight on the table already, and I thought Terrence Crawford was signing the Golden Boy. So I don't know what's going on in the background. I would hope that those two guys worked it out because if y'all been watching my videos, y'all know I've been advocating for both of those guys to just fight each other and stop pussyfooting around this fight because it's, it's going to get to a point to where everybody tunes it out. And it's not going to matter anymore. And they're going to miss their golden opportunity to make a lot of money. And I just feel like if they do it now, instead of, you know, him going to fight Thurman or him going to fight, you know, whoever over at Golden Boy, then, you know, they can strike while the iron is hot. You know, this Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia situation has a lot of people feeling good about boxing again. So those two guys, I would hope that they worked it out. But I, the more I read, the more I'm realizing that, and Terrence Crawford actually came out and said something to the effect of, it's April Fool's. Now, that could be him trying to keep the negotiation under wraps because they don't want everybody sticking their head and their hands in what him and Earl got going on and muddying it up and perhaps picking the fight apart again. Or it could be the truth that this is just an April Fool's joke being played on everybody. Either way, uh, it's stirs talk up about both of those guys. Could be just publicity stunt on the accord or one of the other. I, you know, who knows? But it does get both of those guys' names back out there, and it gets people talking about them again. And hopefully, hopefully, we get that fight to actually come to fruition. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about all that down in the comment section below. With that like button, find me sure, sure, sure. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Holler at me on all social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. More than likely to get a response on the tube. So holler at me over there. If you want to collab, I'll hit my Gmail, flockofcards at gmail.com. And we are mine. Tell me what you see, see, tell me what you see I'm an underground king, it's your boy Lucas Keys I done said it before, I'ma say it again Top five out of the line, top ten out of the pen Knock teeth out of your grin Niggas like we battling him, then how do we win? You the type to let a damn chick straddle your chin I'm the type to laugh at her if she asks me to spin Man but I still keep something with a mean onion These young niggas mean mugging like they seen something I walk up like OG, you need something? But he ain't talking about nothing, nigga He's frontin', he's nothing So fuck the one-on-one, -on -one, we jumpin'
Now you say something about a gun, you ain't dump the jerk I'ma play it cool, but fuck all that shit Something hit your hat quick, make you do a backflip Play it, play it, play it Probably a modern day I'll leave, make them rope a dope. It's your birthday, know what I mean?